Hi, Neil from Image Restore here. A quick tutorial on colouring skin in Photoshop using coloured layers. You've probably seen on the blog various articles using uh, describing this method with static images, so I thought I'd just do a quick video showing you how to do it uh, in motion picture. So we make sure we've got a, a, a layer to choose and uh, an image to colour, and in this case it's this chap here. And I get some colours from uh, skin colour swatches by Deviant Nep. Uh, and if you start search for Deviant Nep, you'll probably be able to find this image somewhere on the internet. And you can pick and choose any shades from here. Now I'd be inclined to choose uh, that shade there. Start with that one for this particular image. Start with this colour and pop over to here. Put my first layer in, set to colour, layer, layer mask, hide all. Go back and choose another from here, let's say. Uh, that one's probably good. Sort of a mid tone skin colour. Layer, layer mask, hide all. Choose some uh, reddish colour. Let's go for that one. Might not be red enough. We'll see. Layer. Hide all. And then add another layer on the top in a magenta. I use this particular combination here, which is a magenta-y uh, tone <clears throat> for colouring the final layer. Set to colour, layer, layer mask, hide all. And then straight to the first one, uh, put a brush on 100% and colour in the layer skin. So we can quickly do that and if you're using a pen and tablet it should take you a few seconds to do. The more of these faces you colour, the better you become at it. And once you've got that in, leave the teeth because when we lower the opacity, there'll be a slight off white, which will be fine. So with the eyeballs, you can't see them here, so it doesn't matter in this case. Select the layer, lower it down to about 40 45%. Select the next colour. I'm going to zoom in for this bit back on the brush and lower it to 5% using a warmish tone and start colouring in the immediate dark areas that you can see, the crease lines, the jawline, shadow areas. Go over them with a couple of passes just to colour them up a bit. And I'm going to do this very quickly but go over all the dark areas and then build them up a bit with another paint, another stroke of colour. You can use a bigger brush for this. You can see the colour starting to come in. Go over all the areas with the slightly greyer tones. You need less colour on those than you do on the darker tones. Building it up slowly. I could set this to 10%, but then I think I'd put too much colour on there. I do prefer to add less than more, or less is more in this case. Easier to put it on than take it off again. Okay, so it's looking a bit orange. That doesn't matter too much at this stage. Okay, so let's finish this eye. A little bit on the brow here. Straight on to the next one. I'm going to lower the brush opacity again to uh, three. And paint the lips in. Nostrils. Creases on the cheeks. Splash some colour on those cheeks there. Nose tip is always a bit red. Earlobes are red. Side of temples are normally a bit red. 
hairline. Let's get a bit hot in the hairline. Corns of eyes. Starting to look a bit sunburnt. Not too much of a problem at the moment. Can tackle that in a minute. So we get some colour in there. I want to just blur that a little bit. Uh, let's try two on there and then just define some creases a bit more with a red. Maybe just up at the jaw as well. So it's starting to look reasonable. Now if we go to this magenta colour on top and lower the brush to 1%, we can take down the orange by adding some magenta. Not sure what happened there with the screen going black, I'm sorry about that. Um, we can bring down the orangeness, that's a, if that's a thing. Um, it's looking a bit plain there, a little bit under contrast, coloured contrast. I'm going to go back to the mid-tone And paint some more in there. There we go. Back to this one. Bring down the orange. Make him look a slightly bluish red. I know you can't really see the blue in there, but it's the sort of illusion it gives. Okay, so that's brought down orange, looks quite good. If you wanted to tan him up, you can add a brown colour from the palette here on a new layer. Set to colour burn. If you bring that down to, I don't know, around 17, 20%, something like that. Layer, layer mask, hide all, and just paint in some extra bronzing you wanted to bronze him up some more. More ruggedy look. And if you wanted to highlight the lips some more, you can go back to a, one of the colours. Add a bit more red in there if you wanted. Okay, so that's just a very quick way of building up the colour in a face very quickly and simply uh, using several colored layers and some various blending modes. If you wanted to try different skin tones with different blending modes, you can. I mean, we use color burn here, but you could try darken or multiply or overlay, hard light, one of the others, uh, and have a play. And uh, that's just my method of doing a quick color up on a face. Of course, it can be refined. More colors can be added. You can add blues for veins if you've got predominant veins in the temples or whiskers. Perhaps he's grown a, a beard. That'd be a darker color there, less red, perhaps more blue in that area. And uh, yeah, just observe and uh, color accordingly. Hope you liked that. It was quick. It was short. If you liked it, let me know. If you didn't like it, let me know. If you want to see more, let me know. See you again soon.